In today's video, the ultimate guide to matching your tie and pocket square. Rule number one, start with the necktie. You want to find the necktie that's going to work with your shirt and jacket combination. Rule number two, we're going to go ahead and add a pocket square to this combination. Notice we didn't start with the pocket square. You start with the necktie, then you add the pocket square. Rule number three, you want your pocket square to complement your necktie, not exactly match. So I'm not looking for a red pocket square, I'm looking for one that complements. Rule number four, finding accessories that complement each other, it's not that difficult. What you want to look for is one color that they have in common. Now I've made this easy, kept the necktie solid, but you notice the red right here on the edge, that's why these two are going to work so well together. Boom, look at that combination, doesn't that look good? Now, a necktie can be worn without a pocket square, but to me, it just, I don't know, it feels lonely. It just doesn't look nearly as good. And of course, you can wear a pocket square without wearing a necktie. I personally love this look because I feel the message it sends is that I did pay attention to the details and no, I did not forget to wear a necktie. This was intentional. And let's talk about ties. So, there's all types of different ties out there, but a lot of people are confused on the bow tie. Now, the bow tie is just as formal video, and fits in any situation that you can wear a necktie. And yes, a bow tie with a pocket square looks amazing. Now, your pocket square and your necktie can be made from the same material, in this case, silk, but bonus points if you can bring in something like cotton or linen, I think which gives a bit more texture and makes it interesting. And be careful of pocket square creep. This is when you wear a pocket square that's too small and it starts to fall in and hide, or you wear a pocket square that's too large and it starts to spill out. And gentlemen, in case you're wondering, all the beautiful ties and pocket squares you've seen in today's video are brought to you by The Dark Knot, the paid sponsor of today's video and for over five years. I've been talking about this company because I know the founder personally, Rishi. I have watched him take this company from nothing to, I think, offering some of the best deals out there on luxury neckties, pocket squares and accessories at an affordable price. So, all of the Dark Knot neckties are interlined with a double layer of wool and cotton. Basically, what this gives is a rich, thick, great looking necktie knot whenever you tie it. And they pay attention to the small details. We're talking about reinforced bar tack stitching and label keepers sewn throughout the seams so to ensure a greater durability of the necktie. And all of their silk and linen pocket squares, they're all manufactured with contrasting hand rolled edges. Every single one of their items comes presented in an elegant black gift box. It comes not only with what you ordered, but a card that actually explains how to use the item, how best to match the item, a little bit about the item so that you can use that accessory to its full potential. Gents, all that plus free global shipping. Again, the Dark Knot is about a quality product at an affordable price. So, go check them out, guys. I'm linking to the Dark Knot down in the description with the best discount code you're going to find out there. Use it or lose it, guys. That's it. Let's get back into the content. All right, so now we've laid out the rules. I'm going to walk you guys through my thought process. I'm going to take various neckties, various pocket squares and talk about why I think they go together or why they don't. All right, so this necktie right here, a nice stripe. Now, this is going to work with the shirt and jacket combination because of the blue right here. This is shared with the jacket. It's going to actually create a lot of contrast because of the difference in pattern. And I, this right here is a very bold necktie, but one that actually is still very formal because of its traditional heritage. All right, so let's start off simple. Let's look at this white pocket square. Yes, it has a bit of red right here, but you can really hide that in the fold. Now, would this work with this combination? The answer is yes. The white presidential pocket square is easily one of the most versatile pocket squares that can pretty much match with any combination. But I think you guys can see this combination right here, just a very clean look. Next up, let's look at this pocket square right here. We see a paisley pattern, white background, and the blue. Do you think this would go? The answer is yes. The blue color right here matching with the jacket and with the necktie actually and the unique pattern paisley. I think it works great in pocket squares. One of my favorite pocket square patterns and you can see I can just bring that in here. The pattern is going to bring a bit of disruption. I think it's a great combination with this overall. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. All right, so we're going to stay similar. Go with another paisley combination, but this one has pink. But notice again, blue and a few variations of it are the dominant. What do you think this is going to work? The answer is yes. In fact, I think it looks even better than that last combination. And the pink, yes, it's nowhere else in my outfit, but it really stands out. It's going to grab attention and that blue is going to make it work with this entire outfit. Uh, this right here, a great combination. All right, so we got a small repeating pattern on an olive background with a blue outer lining. What do you think? Is this going to work with this combination? 
And the answer is yes, again. Notice we're going for a compliment. It's that little bit of blue here on the edge which makes it work. Now, what about this combination? We've got gray with white with the black. You think this is going to work? And the answer is it can work. I don't like it as much. I do like my pocket squares to have more color, but the white right here is actually going to work with the shirt, so I could actually work to pull off this combination. Yeah, I don't like it as much, but you could pull it off. And what about this one right here, a dot combination, maybe with a little bit of a light blue and dark blue on the outside? Well, again, if you follow the rules, you guys know that the blue will make it so that it works, but what if we just went with the red right in here, and that's all we showed with the dot? The great thing about this is that different type of patterns will work well. So, a stripe right here is going to work fine with a dot, but if we had a stripe that was a similar size, probably wouldn't work as well as a pocket square, but this one right here, yeah, you could make it work, and I think adding a bit of color in red, a splash there is going to work fine, but probably not my first choice. Now, what about this? This should be easy. We've got linen with the blue, with the gray, with the white. The answer is yes, and the great thing about this, again, is we have linen mixing it with silk. So, this combination right here, you actually have a difference in texture, and that right here is going to make it more interesting. All right, so now let's talk about this necktie. Beautiful, absolutely love it. Small repeating pattern, classic piece, and it actually can be worn in a business environment. But this is something that is drawing attention to itself. So you got to be careful with the pocket square combinations you put with this. So I would, in my opinion, keep the pocket squares in general a bit muted. This pocket square right here, classic presidential fold in white, I think works perfect. Okay, so again, I'm looking for something that complements. Notice I've got this light blue. We actually have a light blue right here on the necktie, so technically this will work. But when you put it together, do you like it? And that's another secret weapon when you're putting this stuff together, guys. If you don't feel confident, then don't try, then don't do it. But practice wearing it and say, you know what? I like this combination. It's not going to be for everyone, but I like the combination there. What do you think of this one? Maybe I need to go with a different fold? Let me know down in the comments. Okay, so let's talk about this combination. Very busy, very busy. Am I going to try to put this together? No, I think this is way too much competition here. And again, a favorite pocket square right here. I absolutely love this one, the color combination. Beautiful, but is it going to work? Uh, you know, this is a purple and this is a pink. I think some people could actually look at that and say that they're really close, but I don't know. I feel it's almost a little bit too much competition. What about this combination? No, I, I don't think so. Again, too much competition here between these two. So, what do you think? Pretty muted tie actually works well with the jacket and this pocket square. Again, the classic white presidential fold works with anything. Does this combination work? I, I, you know, I'm on the fence with this one. I do feel that the necktie is a little bit too strong, this a little bit too casual, but I can see how it could work because of the color combinations. What do you guys think? What do you think of this combination right here? I think this can work, actually. If you were to put this in, it's just got that nice color. It just works. Um, I'm looking, there's a little bit of blue. The blue works here. I could go with this. What about this combination? This one's a very light, has a very airy feel. This one, much more formal. You think we can put these together? I don't know. Maybe because of the white shirt, I think you could pull it off, but I'm not so sure about this one. Again, guys, let me know down in the comments. Do you like this combination? And bringing in the dot. Now, I think this is a great combination. Again, because this tie is very muted and dots, although they are in general casual, they can be worn with this color, with this combination right here. All right, guys, you want more information on neckties? Guess what? I've got a video right here on the nine types of neckties that you need to know. Every man needs to know. You can check out this video right here. It's an older video, but the information is solid and I think you'll appreciate it. And go check out The Dark Knot. I've talked about him before for over five years. I've known the founder. I've watched him build up this company and I'm proud to support him, guys. An awesome discount code down for you down in the description. Use it or lose it. It's just around for this holiday period and I can tell you that The Dark Knot is the real deal. I mean, the feel of the neckties, the build of them. It's of the highest quality. Check out The Dark Knot, guys. Again, I'm linking to him down in the description. That's it. Take care. I will see you in the next video.